Hello viewers, in this video let's discuss about introduction to advanced methods in earth retaining structures and types of retaining walls. First of all about the introduction. Retaining structures are engineered to retain soil and or rock. They are commonly used to accommodate changes in grade, provide increases in right of way and buttress the toe of slopes. In a broad sense. Retaining structures can be classified according to their face inclination. If it is greater than 70 degrees, they are typically characterized as retaining walls. While slopes have face inclination flatter than 70 degrees. There are several types of retaining structures including gravity, sheet pile, cantilevered and anchored at and mechanically stabilized earth that is re reinforced earth walls and slope. What is the concept of earth retaining structures? We see now. Retaining wall is a structure that are designed and constructed to withstand lateral pressure of soil or hold back soil materials. The lateral pressure could be also due to earth filling, liquid pressure, sand and uh, other granular materials behind the retaining wall structures. There are various types of retaining wall structures which are used for numerous girls. Now we see types of retaining walls. First one is gravity retaining wall. Gravity retaining wall depends on its self weight only to resist lateral earth pressure. Commonly, gravity retaining wall is massive because it requires significant gravity load to contract soil pressure. Sliding, overturning and bearing forces shall be taken into the consideration while this type of retaining wall structure is designed. It can be constructed from different materials such as concrete, stone and uh, masonry units. It is economical for a height up to 3 meters. Crib retaining wall, gabions and bin retaining wall are also type of gravity retaining wall. Next type is crib retaining wall. Crib retaining wall are a form of gravity wall. They are constructed of interlocking individual block boxes made from timber or precast concrete. Then the boxes are fitted with crushed stone or other coarse granular materials to create a free draining structure. Basic types of crib retaining wall include reinforced precast and timber retaining walls. It is suited to support planter areas but it is not recommended for support of slopes or structures. Next one is gabion retaining walls. Gabion retaining walls are multicellular rectangular wide mesh boxes which are fitted with rocks and uh, or other suitable materials. It is employed for construction of erosion control structures it is also used to stabilize steep slopes and here the next one is cantilever retaining wall cantilever retaining wall composed of stem and a base slab it is constructed from reinforced concrete and precast concrete or pre-stress concrete cantilever retaining wall is the most common type used as retaining walls Cantilever retaining wall is either constructed on site or prefabricated off site that is a precast. The portion of the base slab beneath the backfill material is termed as heel and the other part is called toe. Cantilever retaining wall is economical up to height of 10 meters. It requires smaller quantity of concrete compared with the gravity wall but its design and construction shall be executed carefully. Similar to gravity wall, 
sliding overturning and uh, bearing pressure shall be taken into consideration during its design here we see the next one that is counter forward or buttress retaining wall it is uh, a cantilever retaining wall but uh, strengthened with uh, counter forward monolithic uh, with the back of the wall slab and base slab counter forward spacing is equal or slightly larger than half of the counter forward height counter forward height ranges uh, from 8 to 12 meters next is uh, anchored retaining wall this type of retaining wall is uh, employed when the space is limited or thin retaining wall is required anchor retaining wall is suitable for loose soil over rocks considerably high retaining wall can be constructed using this type of retaining wall structure system deep cable rods or wires are driven deep sideways into the earth then the earth uh, then the ends are filled with uh, concrete or provide anchor anchors in the sense uh, tie backs acts uh, against uh, overturning and uh, sliding pressure next uh, we have another type that is uh, pile retaining wall pile retaining wall are constructed by driving reinforced concrete piles adjacent to each other and uh, piles are forced into the depth that is uh, sufficient to counter the force which tries to push over the wall it is employed in both temporary and permanent works pile walls offer high stiffness retaining elements which are able to hold lateral pressure in large excavation depths with uh, almost no disturbance to surrounding structures or properties sheet pile walls are built using sh this uh, steel sheets into a slope or excavations up to a required depth but it cannot withstand very high pressure sheet pile rain retaining wall is economical till a height of 6 meters the last one yes it's a last but one that is a mechanically stabilized earth retaining wall it is uh, among the most economical and uh, most commonly constructed retaining walls mechanically stabilized earth retaining wall is supported by selected fills and uh, held together by reinforcement which can be either metallic strips or plastic meshes types of uh, msc retaining walls include panel concrete block and temporary earth retaining walls the last one that is a uh, hybrid systems retaining walls that use both mass and reinforcement for stability are termed as hybrid or composite retaining wall systems thank you for watching this video